Wallace and Gromit Forever presents PBS 2009 Bloopers 19 The Emperor's Ambition Part 1 Ready, Sean? Ready, Sam. But before we get things started, I have something special to tell you all. Oh, joy. I hope it's good news. It is. First off, I have hit over 9,000 subscribers. 9,000 subscribers? Now that's a lot of subs. No wonder you make such amazing content on YouTube. Seeing Sean with that many subscribers is such a shocker. Congratulations on hitting 9,000 subs, Sean. Thanks, gang. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 when summer starts. I hope so, Sean. By the way, what was the other thing you wanted to tell us? I'm glad you asked, Cruz. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that my strike has now expired. Wow. Your strike has expired already? Time always flies. When YouTube hits you with a community guideline strike, you put being careful on what you make really seriously. And you deleted all your rants and salutes, because they contained a lot of profanity. And now you are most likely a family-friendly channel, only that your channel is not made for kids. Even without a strike, you still need to be careful what you make. Yeah, I know. I'm relieved that I no longer have a strike. I agree, Sean. YouTube permanently shutting down your channel would be a huge nightmare. Now that we've heard all the news, shall we get this PBS 2009 logo started? Definitely, Scotty. Roll camera. Cure the circle. Cure the circle? Circles don't get sick. Unless that pea head inside the circle is sick. No one's sick. I meant to say, cue the circle. It was just another slip of the tongue. Alright. You've had your fun. Let's get serious. That's lame. It's not lame, Sean. Definitely lame. Definitely not lame. Sorry, RoboSoft Free. It's actually worn out. Good man, Sean. Buy more PBS. Shops don't sell circles. Unless it's anything round like a ball. Can you two please stop fighting for just once? It's not buy more, it's be more. Get it right, you nudge. Sure. Can I help it if I accidentally press the wrong buttons on the keyboard? He's up on Scotty, Sam. He's only a human being like us. Sorry, Peter. It was just another gut reaction. Gut Reaction PBS A Hissy Fit Production Of a Rage Quit Film, the only people I know with Rage Quit issues are Sam, Winnie the Pooh, and Jumanji, since certain things trigger them. Hello. Sorry, Sam. I was only pulling your leg. We don't like people teasing us about our anger issues. And my name is not Jumanji, my name is Tsubashi. Well, we can't help it if we mispronounce your name! It's just that you're a foreigner, that's all. The Foreigner PBS. A non-native production. Of an immigrant film. Most of us are from America, because we work for Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. And we sometimes travel here in Great Britain to work for Sean Jones. Well, Sarkuku's from Japan, so the people there can pronounce his name right, and we can't, because he's a freaky foreigner. Ha 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 ha
Tsubashi. He's only funning you. Remain. Come. Uh oh. No. Tantrum in five, four, three, two, one. No, 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 Microsoft Sam. Just because you can't pronounce my name right doesn't mean that I'm a freaky former tease me again like that and I will chat you to this you hear me you bolly 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 bolly. Holy shnikes, are you okay? I guess so, Mr. Miyagi. I just don't like being teased or having my name mispronounced. That's alright, but sometime you'll just have to deal with it, okay? Okay, Mr. Miyagi. I'll try, but it won't be easy. Scotty. Come here. I'm not surprised. Another lecture. Yes, Scotty. Another lecture. Why do you always have to futz around with the BBS 2009 logo? Why do you always have to treat me like a year three kid in school? Because you always act like one, you dime a dozen bum. I do not act that way, Sam. And I am not a dime a dozen bum either. Liar. You are to a dime a dozen bum. I am not. You are too. I am not. You are too. I am not. You are too. He's not a dime a dozen long, Sam. Leave my husband alone right this minute. He's only living his own life. Not so fast, Pula. If you and Scotty don't get a divorce, then out the door you go. Not without our permission first, Sam. If you even think about throwing Pula and Scotty out of here, you're fired. You, Peter. You, Sean. Later, after Sean and Peter washed Sam's mouth out for dropping f bombs on them again. Gun. Not life boy again. You. You. We forbid you to ever drop the f bomb on us again, Sam. And stop trying to get Bueller and Scotty to divorce. You hear me? Yes, dear. But wipes. I saw you two here on an urgent matter. We come at your call, Mr. Chairman. What is the urgent matter? Sean Jones's strike on YouTube has now expired, but in violating the community guidelines is still unforgivable. We heard, Mr. Chairman. We nearly had him until the Almighty and his so-called angels threw it up for us. Your mission is to give my Sox and another case of Jim Conchalosa, and then bring Sean Jones to me. And if you screw this up, our master will take no prisoners. At your command, Mr. Chairman. We'll be at Wallace and Robert forever to claim Sean as ours in no time. Oh, buggers! It's Lucretia McEvil and Volcana Ash! We meet again, Sean Jones. And where is Sam? Right there, you despicable desperados. Flattery, flattery, flattery. First Sean kills us with flattery, and now you, Sam. Am I ever tempted? Ha 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 Enough. The chairman sent us here because we're here to ruin this studio for the lot of you. You'll never do such thing, you infernal imps! Be gone! Even if your strike on YouTube has expired, Sean, our master really wants you as his own. And if we want to put an end to this studio, we just need to ask Sam something. What is it, you suck you bus? Fire Scotty and make it stick. Never. Then we will. <laughs> and anyone who brings Scotty back will be convicted of mutiny. Mutiny mutiny. You're just trying to give me another case of Tick Controlosa. You dealers of destruction can't change Sam back the way he was. I lift my call to God Almighty. I hear I your hear call, call. Sean. Sean. Are these diabolical demonesses causing disaster for you again? We'll drive them back to you, Jill. We've stood enough of your meddling. We demand custody of Sean for his past sins, or we summon our master. You don't own me, you infernal imps. God forgave all my sins. You have no conclusive proof of guilt against Sean, and you can't supersede the rule of the Almighty. 
And you can't bully us by threatening to summon your infernal master. Leave this place immediately. Calling 666. Calling 666. Oh no, it's Emperor Kalkadine again. Save us, Jesus. Please don't use that name in my presence. It makes me want to vomit. So what if it makes you want to vomit? And what do you want from me, Emperor? I want custody of you, Sean, and we're trying to revert Sam to the way he was. It's a good thing you showed up, Emperor. We just fired Scobby and made it stick, and anyone who brings him back will be blamed for mutiny. How many How times many must times I tell all of you not, not to take custody, custody of anyone without any conclusive any proof of guilt? For many years I've watched my legions constantly fail against you, but no more! I'm declaring this place off limits to you. I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. Oh, Martian. Silence! And as for the Almighty, this place is off limits to you until further notice. What happened? The hand of God just vanished. You won't get away with this. You will not be insolent with me. Volcana, take Sean into your custody. At last, Sean, you are mine. Isn't there a way out of this? No way, Sean. Let's go. And now, Microsoft Sam, now that my legions have fired Scotty and made it stick and took Sean into their custody, you are under my control. Yes, Emperor. At the sound of thunder, you are the new boss in this studio. The studio is now Microsoft Sam forever. Now that I finally have what I wanted, my work here is done and this place will no longer be off limits to those meddlers. Till we meet again. What happened? That roar of the rueful realm has left and so have those infernal imps. And Sean has disappeared as well. And why did you take control of the studio, Sam? It's not my fault. Emperor Palpatine made me do it, since Sean isn't here. Volcana took Sean with her. And Emperor Palpatine made Sam take control of this studio. I don't know what we can do now. Since Siren and I don't have our therapy licenses, since they just lapsed. I agree, Anna. This is a sad, sad day. Now, Sean, you will do exactly as I ask. I'm still sore from the landing, and I can hardly move a muscle with these cretins taking me hostage. Don't worry, Sean. I have you where I want you now. This place feels hotter than all get out. We'll keep you cool, Sean. Has Sam really reverted to his old self? Is Sean fated to fall under the clutches of Emperor Palpatine? And can God and his angels help put things right before Sean gets branded? Find out in the next episode of PBS 2009 Bloopers. This has been a Wallace and Gromit Forever production.